Hello and welcome back to another video here in Hopkins. Right now I'm actually at Hopkins Junction. Hopkins Village is four miles down the road this way. And this is the bus stand that you will be dropped off uh, coming to and from Belize City or Placencia or other places like that. So right now what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna catch a bus from this junction coming from this way, which is South Placencia down this way, and we are gonna take it going to Belmo Pond. We're gonna get off at Belmo Pond, and from Belmo Pond, we're gonna catch another bus going towards San Ignacio. We're not, we're not exactly sure what time the bus gets to Belmo Pond, or in the transfer bus from Belmo Pond to San Ignacio. So it's all just a waiting game. We're going with the flow. Um, I didn't film many vlogs in Hopkins Village only because of the simple fact that we've been here for three days. We've been here for three days and you guys saw me arrive and then you saw me go to Coxcomb Basin uh, National Park. And from there, it just rained the rest of the time. So we were only there for three days. We're here in Belize for 12 days. So now we're gonna head off to San Ignacio for four days. We just caught the local bus from a bus stop in the uh, Hopkins Center, and it brought us to the junction for only five Belizean dollars, which is $2.50 US. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for the next bus to come down this way pick us up and bring us to Belmont Pond, which should be maybe about an hour ride. I just got chicken and panadilla from this lady here, so it's no problem. So far, everything's going good. The people here are very nice. It was no problem catching a bus from the uh, center of Hopkins all the way down to the junction. It was, it was perfect. People were nice telling us which way to go, giving us advice and things like that. So I was nervous about transportation before I came here, but now that we've been figuring it out and um, locals are so willing to help you it's truthfully no problem so don't worry about transportation and things like that when you get here local transportation is super easy to catch so let's wait for this bus and then we'll carry on all right so due to time restraints this bus pulled up first so we hopped on here i believe we're going to be on here and then head to or go ahead to Dendrigo right now and then from there catch another bus to Belmo Pond so at least we got on this bus we weren't waiting long I think it was about like maybe 30 40 minutes but it's not bad um so yeah the lady at the bus stop informed us that another bus was coming after this so she said more local bus though but we were in a bit of a time crunch so we hopped on this bus which is about the same bus that we took here so once we get to Drangriga station check in with you guys but this is the view for now overcast day but no rain as of right now so it's not bad we're chilling so. now we're entering Drandriga station we're gonna go get a ticket to uh, San Ignacio here in a little bit I'm gonna ask the lady when the next bus is so we'll come over here to the, the stand nah no, sir so there'll be people here you want to take a seat i'll get the ticket so walk up see when the next bus to uh san ignacio is right here or actually we're going to belmo pond i keep saying san ignacio i keep forgetting where i'm at so slow process but it's okay Probably come over here and get a drink next, hot coffee, maybe take a walk around the neighborhood or something like that. So I'll let you guys know how much the ticket is here in a second. And this is the bus schedule from South to Belize City. Oh. Yeah, you good? Outside, nice day out. Hello, how you doing? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Nice day out right here. So just kicking it. Got the people across the street jamming. This looks like the area of Drandriga right here. I wonder what they got going on. Maybe some food or something like that, but this is the bus station over here. The dude over there just told me, he told me, put the camera away. He told me, don't film him. So I don't think this was, uh, yeah, I don't think maybe he wanted to be on camera. But this right here is the bus station that you'll come into. You got the buses right here coming in. Hello. 
So we're just walking around, taking a stroll around Drandriga. I think we got the police right here. Hello. So everyone here is very nice. It's no issues. They're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Hello. So this is just a slow vlog. Hello. This is just a slow vlog showing you how to get from Hopkins to um, San Ignacio. And then once we get there, I'll give you guys a first impression and things like that. But for now, I just wanted to show you maybe this is the center right here of uh, Drandriga. Can someone please tell me in the comments what that black, white, and yellow flag is? I saw, um, I, I saw the name of it when I was at the restaurant the other night. It was raining, so I didn't record, but I, I, I can't remember. I know, I don't, I, maybe St. Vincent? I'm not sure, could, I could be completely wrong. But yeah, I was gonna walk down this street right here, but actually the bus is coming here at 11.30 and uh, it's like 11.15 right now. So I'm gonna walk back in. I'll probably just get a quick snack and then um, we'll hop on the bus. It was only, uh, I bought two tickets to uh, Belmopan and then from Belmopan we'll get on another bus to San Ignacio, hello. And then uh, after that, uh, yeah, we'll go on to San Ignacio. But the ticket from here, from Drandriga to Belmopan, I think maybe express bus, was nine per person. It was 16, it was 16 Belizean. So that's like eight USD per person. So maybe, I wonder if we could walk into the supermarket over here. We're probably going in here and get a drink real quick. So local store, my bus is not here right now, so. It's not too bad, but I could just come in here, I'll grab a drink, and then we'll head back over there into the station. I had a good breakfast this morning, it was excellent. Had a couple fried jack and uh, things like that. So, hello. Come in here, probably maybe get a Sprite? Yeah, I'll get a Sprite. We'll just keep it simple. That lemon lime. So, got our store right here. Got all your liquors. So, good vibes here. It was uh, it was raining a little bit earlier, but it's not bad right now. A little bit of clear weather, small drizzle, but it's good to go. So, we'll buy this Sprite right here, and then we'll just head back across the street, wait for the next bus, and get up out of here. And I'm gonna try this. I think it's a famous Belizean uh, snack right here. This bread pudding. Hello, how are you? Can I please uh, try a bread pudding? Oh, okay, sure. Is this a typical Belizean snack? Oh yes, yes yeah? definitely. Three? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you too. Have a good day. Okay, yeah. All right, we have the bread pudding right here. So let's check this out. We're gonna see how this. We're gonna see how this tastes right here. It's good. She says typical Belizean snack right here, bread pudding. We gotta eat some of it quick before we hop on the bus. So should I eat it with a fork? Or I could just eat it like this, just like this. It tastes good, but it like, it doesn't really have too much of like a taste taste, like sweet or salty or anything. It's, um, I don't know. How would you describe it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not sweet, but it's good though. Explain to me in the comments what the ingredients of the bread pudding is. And when would you guys eat this? Is this like a cake? You can eat it whenever, or is this like for a special holiday or something like that? But for the most part, it is good. And it was three Belizean dollars, which is $1.50. USD, so not bad at here. Here at Jandriga bus station. All right, made it on the bus. Gonna head to Belmont Pond. Not sure how long the ride is, but we made it, so it's all that matters. Still pretty early in the day too, so we have a whole day ahead of us. As soon as we get to our end destination, little cramped, but it's all good. We made it, so it's all that matters. Put your stuff up top up there in the back so hello you know how long the ride to Belmopan is two hours okay so two hours to Belmopan and then we catch another bus to get from there so let's go 
Okay, here we are in Belmo Pond. We made it. Quick two hour bus ride. Ness, how was the bus? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> At least temperature wise, it was cool. Yeah, when we got on the bus, um, so when you hop on these buses, sometimes you may stand up. You may not even get a seat, even if you bought a ticket. So we got on, we had to sit separate put the bags up top, actually had one on my lap, had the suitcase in between my legs. It was a tight fit, but it was good to go. It wasn't bad. Now we uh, paid for our next ticket, next bus to San Ignacio. Should be an hour ride. Once we get into town, I don't know if we'll have to take a cab. We might just walk to the Airbnb. I'll show you guys that. And then uh, I'm gonna walk around and explore San Ignacio. This video might not have been interesting to some of you, but I just wanted to show you guys a travel day here in Belize from Hopkins Village all the way to San Ignacio. I don't believe you can take a straight bus. I believe since this is, you know, like everyday life here, you're gonna take another bus, transfer at another station, and so on and so forth. And for the most part, it's been very easy, would you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like every time we've come up to the station, you know, right away, the next bus is coming in 20, 30 minutes, so we're good to go. Um, when you come over here at Belmo Pond bus station, you'll see people selling things. We have a restaurant over here. I'm not sure exactly what's over here, but we only have a couple minutes for the bus to come, so we'll just go back into the bus station. We'll wait. Once we get to San Ignacio, I'll turn on the camera and uh, show you guys our little stroll to the Airbnb that we got. Right now we just got to San Ignacio. Very busy. It's a 30 minute walk to the Airbnb, but we're gonna take a cab. We're gonna ask this guy how much it is. Uh, since we're on the border close to Guatemala, Spanish is spoken here, like all around. Even some Spanish was spoken in also Hopkins, Belize as well. Or Hopkins Village, excuse me. So that's the bus we just came on. He's gonna be taking off. And here we are in San Ignacio. We're about to hop in this cab. And uh, Janessa worked out a price. How much, Ness? Oh, I don't know. I forgot to ask. Ask. That's important. You need to ask before we go on the way. Uh, we don't know where we're going. Hold on. We have to figure it out. OK, we have to figure it out. I have to send him the hand. OK. Thank you. Gracias. Put this okay. here. Thank you. All right, let's hop in the cab and we will head over to our airbnb airbnb lady said that uh the room we could have checked in early and she said we could drop our bags off but we're going there now uh before time to check in so she said it's ready so that's good to go Whew. here we are riding so we just got off right there at the Kaya welcome center and uh cab was right across the street waiting so so far transportation has been super easy here in Belize it hasn't been an issue at all and that was one thing that I was very worried about you can you can find yourself in some rural areas over here and um, you know getting there and coming back may be a little difficult but I'm excited to explore San Ignacio this place looks very busy looks like there's a lot going on so let's figure out our directions and how to get there how much this cab will be fill you guys in see you at the Airbnb Pupusaria la exquisita. We're gonna go there maybe later. <laughs> Sir, are you a local of San Ignacio? Yep. Yeah. And you're you are uh, ethnicity Belizean? Nope. Yeah. I'm Guatemala. Oh, Guatemala. Yeah. Came to Belize when I was six years. Six wow. years old. Okay. I see a lot of Chinese writing on buildings. There's a big Chinese population here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, where is it? Like totally 40%. Wow. Chinese. Wow. Okay, okay. And then in the business, they are the top one, number one. Yeah, number one in business. Yeah. Seems to be like that everywhere. <laughs> Chinese and Hindu. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Chinese here in the San Ignacio as well. They had a lot of stores over in Hopkins Village when we were there, so. Interesting. This town looks lovely. I can't wait to walk around and explore. House with the hearts. Just a short walk later. 
after our cab dropped us off, eight Belizean dollars, we are at our Airbnb. It's pretty nice, Ali's place. Hello. So we'll go up in here. I'll give you guys a tour of the Airbnb when the lady lets us in. It's very nice. I'll give you guys a tour here in a second. I don't want her to be on camera or if she doesn't want to be on camera, but this is where we're staying. I'll leave the descriptions for this Airbnb if you guys want to stay here um, down in the description. It's just right outside San Ignacio downtown. It's right over there. It's about a 20 minute walk, seven minute drive. So pretty excited to be here. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Backyard of the Airbnb. It's very nice. She says this is studio one. This is studio two. There's also one upstairs. And I believe maybe this is just the shed back here with the grass. We have the water tank. The backyard looks very, very nice. You have your outdoor seating. So let's go inside and let's see what it looked like. I've already been in there. It smells wonderful. This is one of the cleanest Airbnbs I've ever stayed in. So, hello. <laughs> Can you please give us a tour of your humble abode? Yes, come in. Thank you very much for inviting me inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little dining area and the little kitchenette. Very nice. And then we have the bedroom. Okay. The living room. <laughs> the little <laughs> rocking chair. And then here's the bathroom. The bathroom. Um, oh, there you go. This is very nice. Shower. Yeah. The shower tile looks nice. The walls are nice. Beautiful color in here. She decorated this in here herself. So it looks very nice. And she also left us with a guidebook right here that we can use to see, you know, where the tours are, auto rentals. This just gives you rules and instructions about what to do while you're here. Tour companies, air conditioner over here. It also gives you some things you can do with the information on the bottom. She told us right now the caves are closed because it's raining. She said it's been raining all week and it will continue to rain the rest of the week, but we're still gonna make the best of our time here. We have our coffee pot, we have our microwave. Let's take a look. Looks pretty clean. Countertop, fire extinguisher down below. You have your cooking top, salt, pepper. So, little eating table. So very nice. From here, I'm gonna check out. Oh, I almost forgot. The refrigerator that she left purified water in there for us. Anything in the freezer? No, we have our glasses. So that's gonna be it for now. Let's give you guys a bed check. Ooh, it's pretty nice. Comfier than the other one. So I'll be checking out from here. Travel day from Hopkins Village all the way to San Ignacio. Multiple, uh, multiple bus transfers and things of that sort, but it was very easy to get around. It was no issue. It didn't cost us more than, it didn't cost us more than I'd say $40 USD, you know, together to get here. So very affordable to get around Belize. All right, guys, I'm checking out from here and I'll catch you on the next one here in San Ignacio.